it's Mariah Lisa with Mariah Shelley Village and today I am shooting this video to share our grade 7 literature selections. So I'm going to shoot another video discussing all of what we're doing for English language arts. So for us, the English language arts is the one major umbrella and then we have several subjects that fit into that, literature being one. So I'm going to share our literature selections in this video and our complete ELA um, selections will be in a separate video. So I'm going to get started with um, what we're using for our 7th grader, I'm going to share the titles of the books, including the authors, and I'm also going to tell you the major literary skill or activity or reading skill that I'll be teaching with that particular book. There's other minor things that I've added, but I'm just going to hit the major things in order for you to um, just understand what we'll be doing with each book. Okay, the other thing that I want to share is that because of our history and geography studies are going to be um, more toward like the east then our literature selections are pairing um, loosely with what we'll be doing in history and geography so um, the majority of um, the books that I've chosen will be paired with a nation that we are reading about not I'm sorry, a nation that we're studying about in history and geography. So obviously there isn't a novel per nation, but just some of the big ones that I wanted them to focus on, I found books for. Okay, so let's get started. We're starting um, with Australia. So our first book is Call It Courage by Armstrong Sperry. And so this book is set in Polynesia. Um, if you're not familiar, Polynesia is in the Pacific, you know, near Australia. And so we'll be reading this book there. When we study Australia, we're going to study Australia as well as um, some of the main islands um, in the Pacific Ocean as well. With Call It Courage, it's a simpler read. I think it's like five chapters, so it'll be quick and easy for him. We are going to focus on um, junior high level annotations. So he's familiar with some basic annotations from grade four through six, but we are going to kind of dig a little deeper this year so I wanted to choose an easier book to do a more challenging task. Alright then moving along when we study China we are going to read Young Fu. Young Fu is by Elizabeth Foreman Lewis. It is set in China. When we read this book we will be um, using a traditional study guide that is on junior high level and we'll also be learning um, plot with a story cube. The next book that we're going to read is Boys Without Names. We're going to read this title when we um, study India. Boys Without Names is by Kashmir Sheth. Really good book. If you are studying India, add this book to your list for boys and for girls, even though the main character in this book is a boy. When we study Boys Without Names, we are going to um, have a traditional study guide so it has a host and a variety of literary skills. I have designed this course to be worth a half of credit and so some of the um, study guides or novel guides that I've chosen are on the freshman level. Um, Boys Without Names being one of them. Okay moving on. Oh when we study the Middle East and the Taliban we'll be reading The Bread Winner by Deborah Ellis. This is a really good book. There's also um, a movie, I believe it's on Prime, that um, pairs with this book and it's also called The Breadwinner. So we'll have a freshman level novel guide with this one because this is adding towards the 0.5 high school credit that I factored in for this course. And we'll also watch the movie and do a novel to film comparison. All right, our sixth novel is going to be The Garbage King. We're going to read this novel when we study Ethiopia. The Garbage King is by Elizabeth Laird. Really, really good book set in Ethiopia. With that book, we are going to um, review annotations and we're also going to design a um, plot skeleton and do a character sketch. And then our next book, oh, when we study Israel, the Israel-Palestine region, we're going to read A Little Piece of Ground. This book actually does um, highlight the conflict there. 
This is a really good book as well. Um, with this book, we are going to learn um, or we're going to go further with writing summaries and with characterization. And then our last novel for the 18-19 school year is A Long Way Gone. A Long Way Gone is by Ishmael Bea. Um, when I used to teach school, I taught this book um, when I taught gifted freshmen. So I am really looking forward to reading this book with my son and going through some of the um, concepts and themes that are in here. This is a really, really good book. Um, the film, The Good Lie, I know it has Reese Witherspoon in it, is loosely based off some of the events that take place in this story. Um, and this is a memoir, and so we've read one other memoir before, and so this will be his second one, so I'm excited to see how um, he likes this one in comparison to the other one. With this one, we have a major novel study as well, and again, this one is on um, the high school freshman level to account for that half credit. So these are the books we'll be reviewing again, and I'll quickly go through them and name the nation in case you want to do a... Um, novel study based on the region or the nation. So call it Courage, the Pacific or Polynesia, Young Fu, China, Boys Without Names, India, The Breadwinner, The Middle East, A Little Piece of Ground, Israel, Palestine, The Garbage King, Ethiopia, a Long Way Gone, Sierra Leone. I will also um, have a blog post that has all of the books that we are going to use, so you have that for reference. I will link that in the description box. So I'm going to share. This is what our Multicultural Novel Studies journal looks like this year. As you can see, I mean, it has my son's name, Multicultural Novel Studies Journal, the grade that he's in, the school year, and then the novels that he'll be reading. And above each one, I just told him the nation that he'll choose. So he has seven novels, I believe. Is that how many? Yes, he has seven novels. And then as you can see, the literature journal is full of all the literary activities or novel guides or whatever that he'll be using. And if you remember my poetry and short stories video, I talked about adding that binder, I'm sorry, that binder pocket in the back to add things throughout um, the school year and even to include things that I already know. Like for instance, I believe I said in a particular story, let's go find out which one because my table of contents is so amazing. Um, it was with Young Fu. So when we read Young Fu, I said we were going to do a story cube. So obviously I'm not going to bind that in the journal because then it wouldn't it wouldn't come out nice. So I've already printed it and put it in this binder pocket because I know that we're going to do it. So this is his story cube. So anything that I'm going to use that I'm not going to bind, I stick back here. And then throughout the school year, if we have anything we want to add, it's here so that everything for literature is in one place. Okay, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, shalom.